What is up everyone and we are back again with another guide about Fantasy Star Online 2. Today we're going to be talking about fun and star gem furniture for crafting. In our current version if you go to the fun or star gem shop and click on one of them, all it says is furnishings that can be placed in your personal quarters. It doesn't specify exactly what these do and today I'm going to be telling you what they actually do. First we're going to cover the fun furniture. You can get these from the fundamentalist NPC located in the shopping plaza right under the entrance to the cafe. You can earn fun points by giving kudos when you can, such as messaging people, buying their items in the personal shop, or completing expeditions with other players. The crafting console gives you access to all crafting within your personal quarters. There is a crafting console 1 and a crafting console 2. The only difference is the size and the placement. Console 1 can be placed on the wall and console 2 can be placed on the floor. The same thing applies to crafting boards as they have crafting board 1 and 2. Overall crafting boards show you your craft request list. If people are requesting you to craft something for them, it will appear here. Next up, there are craft bonus furniture. There are two types, builder and maker. Builder reduces cooldown by 2%, maker increases the chance of great success by 1%. Then there is craft X, which focuses on extending equipment. Tech, which focuses on customizing techniques. Time, which focuses on time abilities and arts, which focuses on photon art customization. Later on in later episodes, these can be upgraded up to three times to give bonus percentages. So at number four builder, it will reduce cooldowns by 8% and number four maker will increase the chances of great success by 4%. This currently is not in episode four and it should be released later. Then there are star gem furnitures. You can get star gems by buying it with real money or by playing the PvP Battle Arena. If you don't know how to play the PvP Battle Arena, there is a video guide listed down in the description below. You can also get star gems by random events held by Sega and other ways. A good way to get star gems is by finishing all of the story missions. So F-Craft Builders reduce the craft line's cooldown by 8%. So for example, S-Craft Arts Builder reduces the cooldown when using Photon Arts customization by 8%. Those are the 230 star gem furnitures. For the 460 star gem furnitures, there's S-Craft X Maker that increases the chance of great success for equipment extension by 2.5%. S-Craft Time Maker that increases the chance of great success for time abilities by 2.5%. S-Craft Tech and Arts Maker increases the chance of great success when customizing techniques or photon arts by 4%. Remember, you can only put one of these bonus furnitures in your personal quarters at a time. You cannot stack them. You can always remove and place another one depending on what you want. For me, I've been using just the Maker series because the chance of great success is better than just a cooldown reduction, in my opinion. Getting a great success increases the value of your customization on the market greatly, so take that into consideration. That's it for this video. It's short, simple, and to the point. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thank you all for tuning in and listening, and until next time.